25 minutes, yeah? So we should, we should, we should use one side. Yeah. Well, good evening, folks. Uh, my name is Luke Manuel and I'm well. And um, I have my team members here. I have um, Zaygun, I have Komishan, I have Isabel, I have Swad Swadi, and I have Manish here. And together, we are going to be presenting the digital transformation of uh, uh, Ford Motors. So, so uh, first of all, I'm going to be uh, talking about the contents of our slides. Uh, the first one is the background of the company. And uh, the second one is the competitive analysis of uh, the Ford models. Uh, that's, uh, you know, the competitors, they are uh, the type of uh, uh, automotive and, you know, uh, challenges they're facing. And then we're going to be talking about the digital transformation initiatives, which talks about, you know, what we think, uh, what they're actually working on, that's, you know, transforming, the, that's optimizing their, uh, uh, their products in the market, and we're going to be talking about the fan current issues and the statements of uh, the company, and then the recommendations we think uh, they should do. So I'll be talking about the company timeline. So we all know uh, uh, automotive preferences have been changing since you know the 90s, uh, from you know using of horses to horses um, um, carriage and all. We we know. Um, from there, we move to, you know, uh, um, I don't know, we used to watch this movie of old movies that use um, uh, small uh, carriages. So, so from there, we can know preferences of um, automotive, have been changing, automotive um, buyers have been changing. And um, to do that, to optimize the company, the uh, founder of Ford Motors, which is Andy Ford, um, he was inspired by the Chicago meat, uh, Chicago meat uh, planting, and he was able to, you know, bring up uh, an automotive uh, car that's 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 automated, uh, that's fully automated. So um, going from there, we're going to be talk So going from there, the the company was announced in 1913, and you know, from there it has been making affordable and durable cars until the Great Recession in uh, 2009. So in 2009, uh, the company changed the management, so that was when the recession hit. So we all know that a whole lot of companies uh, faced a whole lot of problems during the recession, you know, asking for bailouts and all, and um, Ford was able to um, appoint a new management called Alan Moli, uh, Alan Molali, and he was able to, you know, raise funds from selling of uh, companies um, unused money to like raise funds for the raise bailout for them. And um, uh, so, um, I'm going to go to the next slide, which talks about the competitive analysis. And I'm going to invite Isabel to um, analyze that for you. Thanks. So for our part two company competitive analysis, so according to Ford Motor Company, uh, company's five forces, and uh, the four more substantial external factor in the automotive industry is intense competition, and the outcomes of Ford Motors Company is five forces like. Um, we have the assessment demonstrate that competition is an essential and it must emphasize strategies to establish competitive sustainability for protracted validity in the automated se sector. So on the next slide will be the destruction and destroy uh, Porter's five forces. So in Bergini power of suppliers of Ford automaker, uh, it shows here that if suppliers have strong bargaining, uh, bargaining power, then they will extract higher price from the Ford automaker. And then for the threat of new entrants, so companies like Ford spend, um, companies like uh, our company, the Ford Motor is like spend huge funds establishing and operating their companies and amenities, the expenses act as an entry barrier, minimizing the threat, um, the threat in newcomers, and at the same time, creating a 
powerful brand similar to Ford's is exclusive and it may be challenging for a new entrance to compete effectively with huge companies. So according to this component of the five forces assessment, um, external forces pose only a minor threat to Ford. So in the threat of substitute products and services, Ford Automaker must either consistently invest in research and development or they will be uh, losing out to industry disruptors if the threat of substitution is sufficient. And then for the Ford, uh, five quarters of five forces, so for gaining power of buyers of Ford Automaker, it is really strong for gaining power among Consumers typically results in lower prices, which limits the Ford automaker ability to generate long-term profits. And lastly, rivalry among existing players, it becomes challenging for established firms like Ford Automaker to generate sustained earnings when it when it comes to intense competition, of course. And what? Next, I'm going to talk about the customers of Ford. Uh, Ford serves different kind of customers. It's, there are two kind of uh, customer services in given to uh, customer that is general one and another one is commercial one. And uh, the Ford primarily sells the vehicles, uh, vehicles and parts access to the um, worldwide network of Ford and being called leadership. It also sells uh, vehicles to the automotive and parts, uh, parts distributors and commercial big companies such as car rentals, government bodies and industries and contracting, uh, contracting companies. And next slides, I'm going to talk about the uh, top competitors of Ford uh, Motors. And the first one, uh, these are already given by the customers uh, uh, like which they are using the vehicles of Ford. And uh, the first top competitor is George. It's with the rating is 85 out of 100. It's like <coughs> the first most competitor to the Ford company, and the rating was uh, 11 days ago. The second Ford uh, uh, competitor is uh, General Motor. The rating is 75 out of 100, which ranks them second competitor to the Ford company. The rating was two days ago. And the third uh, competitor is Chevrolet. The rate was uh, 72 out of 100, which, which ranks them the third most competitor to the Ford company. The rating was two months ago. And the third, uh, then fourth uh, competitor is Nissan. The rating was 68, and uh, it was also for fourth competitor to the Ford company. And uh, that was the uh, the rating was nine days ago. And the sixth, fourth uh, competitor is uh, Big Fisher Automobiles, and it, it's also in the top competition to the Ford company. The rating was two months ago. And I'm talking over the IT development Ford, and uh, here we're gonna see the artificial intelligence of system, which uh, they are using uh, so many years. It's it's been long, long years, and uh, they use artificial intelligence in different ways. They mostly using wheel drive system, and they also use the uh, inventory data of used cars. Try to face your audience. In inventory data of uh, um, um, uh, used cars, and it de detects the vehicles in the car seat. And it's launched a sync uh, info time system. It also relies on the artificial intelligence. And they also use the innovative technology uh, to build teams and uh, to innovate to the different kinds of technology. And the second one is a machine learning system. It also used to uh, solve the development of automotive vehicles and it also gives the solutions to the uh, vehicles. And next, next topic, uh, Good evening, everyone. I'll be speaking about uh, digital transformation, what the company has taken into their production process. So, starting with, uh, we all know when we talk about technology these days, uh, it extensively comes to robotics, how robotics are being used in production process. So, Ford has also employed a, a computer based uh, robotic system called Cobots. So what these cohorts do is they help the employees to uh, make their task more easier. So here we meet Mr. Rob, uh, not the person uh, but the robot. So the employee, what we see, what you see here, 
has been injured with uh, you know fracture on his hand and he is not able to uh, perform his task regularly and he has been working there from since 35 years so this rob mr rob the robot helps him to uh, make his task more easier and helps him to reach at the place where uh, usually humans cannot go so it's uh, you know like health hazards so with these kind of robots it becomes much more easier and much more safer to work in these kind of environments moving forward we also have uh, additive manufacturing technology the ford has been using in the production process so this is the most interesting one when we speak about producing in a large quantity um, we usually come across with lots of uh, you know wastage of the resources lots of uh, you know uh, metals are being wasted so using this technology uh, a 3d printing uh, system has been introduced where different parts of the uh, machines which are considered as waste are collaborated and cohesively made into a different uh, machines that can be used for the next production process so this really helps in uh, reducing the uh, carbon footprints and uh, you know reserving the resources third initiative what i am talking about is radio frequency identification tag so we all know that these tags are being used uh, you know where the re uh, radio frequency is being tested to identify the uh, identify the um, items so ford uses these tags for the different equipments and different modules of the cars so these are being attached and when the car model moves in a production line so using these tags the company knows what exactly has to be uh, done to the car what uh, items are required or what equipments are more required so with this it helps to uh, track the inventory system reduce the time uh, you know which it takes to acquire the new items and also to uh, reduce uh, the usage of similar items more and more next we have is cloud based data service uh, ford has been collaboratively working with uh, google recently to use this kind of services uh, in their motor cars so uh, ford recently declared that it would be uh, having or it would be in, uh, introducing a uh, inbuilt uh, google map system and google voicing system so this helps uh, for a better navigation where people can easily navigate where they want to go so without connecting their mobile phones to the system last one which i am talking about is augmented reality uh, when it comes to uh, automobiles cars we usually speak people are more concerned about their safety systems you know safety rights so using this technology what ford is doing is you know the engineers are creating a virtual reality of the uh, you know a car where they can test what kind of uh, hazardous uh, 